Investing in mining is hard. People lost fortunes chasing pipe dreams. This is the story of someone fighting against the odds. In this video, I'm going to return with you on my trip to Namibia to visit two investment opportunities, a copper mine and a copper smelter. I'm going to give you the full story, how the investment opportunities have been sourced, my visit to the mine site, and a few tips here and there to help you reproduce the same. But before I jump on the plane, let me just explain how this entire story started. It started with a WhatsApp message containing a PDF of 143 pages. This document was a CPR, a competent person report. It's basically a document that describes everything regarding the life cycle of a mine, from its deposit to the financial plan, without forgetting the re-establishment plan. From my experience, it's extremely rare to get such document for small scale project. And this project was a fucking rocket ship ready to take off. I mean, honestly, before sourcing project like this, you need to skim through hundreds of thirds. Okay, cool. So check with your office and let me know if this is of interest for them. And yeah, maybe see you in a few days. Ciao. So I've just finished a call with a potential investor, someone who would be willing to put the few millions that the project needs. And we'll see, he's going to check uh, with his office. So let's see. But I think this project is fantastic. So. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I've just received the confirmation they are interested and uh, I need to book everything to go to Namibia in we are Tuesday, I need to leave for Thursday, so... Uh, yeah, let's do it! <laughs> I've just noticed that I forgot something extremely important, which is my sunglasses. And I mean, we are going to the desert, so it's a bit stupid. So I don't know, what do you think about the sunglasses? I, I asked uh, like a German lady and she said like something like, Sus is really dish blazon, so I don't know what it means, but... It seems fine, so how about this one? Let's go! You know what? I'm so fucking stupid. I thought that the show was still going on today, but it closed yesterday. So I'm here. Nobody, nothing. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Sometimes I even like impress myself how stupid uh, uh, I am. But anyway. All right. I'm gonna have a coffee, wait for the others, chill 30 minutes, uh, hopefully. And then we'll go see the mine. Beam! Change of plan. Actually, it's a bit too late in the afternoon to visit the copper mine. So we are going to visit a smelter. And it's interesting because one of the owners of the smelting company needs liquidity and wants to sell its shares. So just like that, beam! Pop a new investment opportunity. And I want to have a good look at it because there is only two smelting licenses in Namibia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you can feel it's very lightweight because all the dirt is was being extracted from it by heat. Just before you, you start smelting this uh, uh, coke, it smelts and you get in the smelter, the coke became your slack. Mm -hmm. So just before that temperature, they stop and then they sell it like this. Then your calorific value is still good enough to smell. But the dirt is, is away. And into the smell. This is that, you see, okay, like this, beam, and then the coal is here, then it yeah, goes there. Yeah, uh, one, okay. one, one, one skip of ore, one skip coal. Hmm. Uh, 
in the that's that's the the mix we did. So we are very early morning, 5 a.m. Um, just uh, I just jumped out of the shower. The guys with the mine owner, with the geologist, uh, should pick me up in uh, 10 minutes. So I've got to go. We have a long day ahead. So the plan is um, uh, visiting the mine today, uh, speaking with the geologist, uh, and then um, yeah. So this is this is copper plant. When when you see this plant, you know that there is copper. And here there is a lot of copper plant. So this is what the beginning of a mine looks like. basically the width um, and, and we're going to mine Fucking great trip. I think we made a. Yeah, that was a great trip. That was really cool to meet the the, the owner, um, the geologist, and so on. I mean, the, this gave us a total confidence in the project. We'll see what is going to be in the next uh, few weeks. But man, Namibia is such a cool country. Also, <laughs> like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about the commodity industry. Ciao.